And our next presentation is uh, going to be by uh, Annie Gonar and uh, Rachel Lee, who uh, work on the uh, Dream Teams experience, which um, they developed as uh, pharmacy students and honor students here at Rutgers. They're currently, currently students here now. Um, so they are going to share with you their innovation, which is designed to uh, help get um, young women like you uh, interested in and persisting in your dreams for STEM careers. Um, thank you, Karen, for that uh, lovely introduction. We're Annie and Rachel, and as Karen mentioned, we're both second year students at Rutgers. Um, I'm in the pharmacy school. And I'm actually in the business school as well. Just like Sarah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so last semester, we took a course called Innovation Lab, which was an experience that allowed us to come up with a project that would potentially solve a pressing social issue, something that, that afflicts us today on a wide scale. And um, that's something you can look forward to when you all go to school here at Rutgers uh, in due time. So this is the Honors College. This is where the Innovation Lab is. And um, we also participated in the i program. Um, where we performed customer discovery interviews to determine if there was even a market for our product, and if so, how to, um, how to develop the product in a way that would maximize exposure and maximize involvement. So we're going to describe the innovation that we have in development um, as a result of our experience at the Innovation Lab, but I'd like the main focus of our talk to be about the implicit biases that perpetuate the gender gap we still see in the STEM fields today. And we'll talk a little bit about how our innovation attempts to address these implicit biases. And then ultimately, we'll have a call to action where we'll describe ways or we'll, we'll think about ways in which you can also potentially um, attempt to mitigate these concerns. So we're going to talk about two main implicit biases, stereotype threat and teacher bias. Um, let's start with stereotype threat. So it's just the idea that a fear of confirming negative stereotypes about women's underperformance in STEM ironically causes them to underperform. So for example, um, a female student taking a math test in a classroom full of male students is more likely to do worse on that exam than if she were to just take it in a room by herself or if she were to take it uh, with other students, with other female students in the room. Um, teacher bias is the obvious idea that the way in which teachers engage with their young students has an impact on future performance in the classroom. So um, a teacher or a student who um, is exposed to a teacher who maybe has hidden biases that she's not even aware of, but projects them in a way that makes that student feel inadequate in the classroom, um, that student is less likely to take advanced courses in those subjects when they reach high school. Um, you guys might remember these from the game that we played uh, earlier during the event, um, so hopefully you remember that. But um, how exactly does Dream Teams attempt to, to solve these issues that we just talked about? So basically, we're working on our first prototype right now. Um, we're starting out with what we are going to have as an online forum, basically. It's going to be a multiplayer game, um, and we're going to use that in conjunction with basically playing cards. So like you see you know, uh, a baseball card that everybody would be trading, we're going to change that into female scientists. <laughs> so um, we're going to basically have, I don't know if a lot of you students have played Webkinz. Um, it might have been more our generation than yours, but it was basically um, a plush toy that had um, an access code on it, and that would unlock an avatar in a game. So we're going to take the same kind of concept, but instead we're going to feature prominent female scientists and trailblazers on the front of our cards and an access code on the back. And we're going to use this in concert with uh, basically like an online forum where you can enter the access code and you'll be able to go into this educational game and play as these different scientists and be able to build guilds with other girls and other players and be able to perform different STEM related activities and increase your knowledge all while enjoying a fun game. So here's just a prototype that one of our teammates made. Um, we have Hedy Lamar featured on the front. 
um, and a superpower that corresponds to um, the field that she was, she was involved in. And we have an access code down here that connects to um, the website that is still in development. Um, so we think that this is an ideal platform um, for, the, for the mitigation of the biases that we talked about earlier because it doesn't impose any um, beliefs or stereotypes on its users. It's literally just a fun way to develop the skills that you're interested in and to develop the skills that happen to just be helpful for, um, for STEM in the future. So it's just a very non-invasive, friendly way to get students involved in the fields that we really need them participating in. So our call to action today is for you to notice and correct, stay inspired, and embrace curiosity. So first and foremost, um, whenever you notice a negative thought that suggests a stereotype about a woman in STEM or about just whatever it might be, if it's negative, um, stop yourself as soon as you have that thought and correct it with someone who violates that stereotype. So whether it be your mom who's you know, a computer scientist or your sister who's just really good at algebra or maybe it's someone you look up to um, in the media who just happens to be like a YouTuber who has her own blog and she's also like an engineering student, whatever it is, whenever you notice that negative thought come in, try and combat that with someone who defies that stereotype. Um, the second thing we ask you to do is to stay inspired and surround yourself with people who are interested in the same things that you are. Um, come out to events like these, this is great. Um, get yourself exposed to other people who've reaped success in the fields that you're interested in. And um, finally, embrace that curiosity. Never let a question go unanswered. Never let an itch go unscratched. Um, just absolutely anything that you're interested in, even if it doesn't necessarily align with what you think you should be doing, um, go after that and just make the most of, of your interests and of your curiosities and just embrace that. Thank you. Um, after this game goes into action, how are you going to spread the word? That's a very good question. Um, so Rachel is actually our social media and marketing director, so she's going to take over that question. Um, so basically, we already have some social media platforms right now that you can follow us on. Um, we are going to have to, right now it's FemStem, but we are going to have to change that because somebody got to it right before us and copyrighted it. So we will be changing our name. So you're going to see us undergoing basically a reinvention of ourselves in the next couple of months. We're going to step back and reevaluate and figure out how we're going to do that. But besides that, try and follow us on social media and follow us on the way. And once we have a, a good prototype to put out there, you'll find us. So you talked about how um in general, girls would face this stereotype and teacher bias. So this inspiration that you got, was it based on personal uh, experiences that the same things have happened to you that inspired you to take a step forward and do this for other girls too? I think Rachel and I have both certainly had um, personal experiences during which um, the validity of like what we were saying was questioned just because we were women in positions that were normally held by men or we were in environments where um, that weren't necessarily conducive to like the most supportive, um, just, just wasn't, weren't the most supportive. So I think we both um, faced challenges like that and drew inspiration from them. Um, I just remember being like, even right now actually, um, I'm taking a class called Philosophy of Physics and I'm literally one of two female students. Um, and I still like, even though um, I have this like platform and even though Rachel is awesome and like inspires me every day and stuff and like even though I attend events like these I still have these doubts sometimes where I'm like oh my god maybe I shouldn't be here I'm one of two female students like what um, but that is absolutely something that um, drives my desire to like correct these concerns that I still have right because even as someone who um, tries to like actively defy these stereotypes, I still have like these these concerns and these biases against myself. So it's absolutely something that inspired um, the creation of the game. And Rachel, do you want to talk about that? 
Um, I kind of had the same thing because I worked in law enforcement for a while and just the same thing happened where it was only males in the building and it was just me as the only female and it was just super weird and I had to get past that because I had a job to do, obviously. So it's important to put ourselves in situations that we normally wouldn't be comfortable in just so we can help other people because there's obviously a place for us anywhere we want to be because we can do everything anyone else can do. So you just got to put yourself there. Just on this topic of stereotypes and what you said about this STEM persona, when I've, I've had this happen to me so many times when people find out I'm a scientist or an engineer, they're like, you don't look like a scientist. What? What is what does that mean? Like, why don't I? So, like, don't give up. Like, you can be a scientist, you can be an engineer, and you can enjoy fashion and get your nails done. Or you could play, you don't have to be an athlete only or a STEM person only. You could do your sport and be interested in, in a science thing. So, uh, yeah, that was just really weird. <laughs>